Is there a conversation that you still have with Steven kind of over and over in your head that you could share with us that like kind of keeps you still connected to him as you mentioned so often that he's still with you guys? Is there a particular conversation that kind of you continue to have with him? You know, I was talking to him really actively. I talked to him almost every single night for a really long time. It would be about anything and everything. It could be, how was the day today? Yeah, I'm just sadly, on the I was like, here is yeah, this, yeah, you know? Yeah. Or, or I would be really upset and yelling at him. There's times I've just screamed and there's times I've been like, okay, I'm picking a school for the kids. What do you think of this school? And then just wait for an answer. And, you know, and so it's all sorts of different kinds of things that we would talk about. But the biggest conversation I had with him that probably means the most and was the most healing was I was outside and I was looking at the stars and I said, whether it was necessary or not, I don't know if it was necessary or needed, but I forgave him. And I said, I hope you found that peace genuinely i really hope he found that piece that he needed and that he felt like he needed it you know and that's a really hard thing to do but i needed to allow myself to almost be free of that for him and for him and so we just had this long dialogue and i i did i was like i, for, I forgive you and I, I hope you have that peace and i've got it like i've got i've got the kids we've got each other we're gonna be okay that's beautiful So, get this. Two years later, and Allison Holker just dropped a bombshell that's got everyone talking. Like, this gist is wild. I mean, she's found love again. Yep, you heard that right. Allison Holker, the wife of the late Stephen Twitch boss, has moved on. And for some people, it's shocking emotional, and just a lot to process. But before you jump to conclusions, we've got to unpack everything that's led us here. Because this is way deeper than it seems at first glance. Let's rewind a bit. December 13th, 2022, a day that most fans will never forget. That was the day the world lost Twitch. The king of dancing, positive energy, and all-around good vibes. He was only 40 years old, and the news of his passing hit like a ton of bricks. No one saw it coming, and the way it happened left a lot of people scratching their heads. The official word from law enforcement was that no foul play was suspected, and they were quick to call it an apparent case of taking his own life. But hold on, because there's way more to this than what meets the eye. First off, Twitch wasn't just some random guy. He was Twitch, you know? The same dude who lit up our screens on So You Think You Can Dance? And then became the life of The Ellen Show? People loved him. He had that rare spark that made everyone feel like they knew him, even if they'd only ever seen him on TV. So when the news broke that he was gone, fans were shook. And as always with these tragic events, rumors started flying almost immediately. Here's the part that's got people talking, though. Law enforcement found a note next to Twitch at the hotel where it all went down. Yeah, a note. But the contents of that note? Still a mystery. The family requested that the details be kept private, and no one can blame them for wanting to keep some things under wraps. Losing a loved one is already hard enough without having to deal with the media breathing down your neck right? Still, not knowing what was in that note has left everyone with so many questions. Was it a goodbye? An explanation? Or something else entirely? And then there's the tension between Twitch's family and Allison. Look, it's no secret that there was some bad blood even before Twitch passed. Word on the street is that things were already complicated, and once he was gone, all that tension boiled over into full-on legal drama. You know how it goes when someone passes unexpectedly? Especially when they're a big public figure. There's always money involved. And when you throw in family dynamics, whew, it gets messy, fast. Twitch's estate was a big deal and everyone had an opinion on how it should be divided. But here's the thing that's got people comparing it to other tragic losses. Like what went down with Kobe Bryant's family after his death? People are wondering if there's something bigger going on here. Is it just about the money, or is there more to the story? Whatever the case, it was obvious that things weren't smooth between Allison and Twitch's family after he passed. And when legal battles start popping up, you know it's only gonna get more complicated. Now, here's where it gets even more confusing. At the time of his passing, Twitch was still working on The Ellen Show. Yep, during all that chaos about Ellen's show being toxic, he was one of the few who stuck around. Most people would have bailed when the headlines about Ellen's behavior started blowing up, but Twitch didn't. He stayed loyal, and of course, that raised eyebrows. Like, why didn't he leave like everyone else? Was he caught in something we don't know about? It's hard to ignore that these things were happening at the same time. A lot of people have wondered if the pressure of everything, his work, his family, his personal life, just became too much. It's all speculation, of course, because none of us know what was really going on behind closed doors. But you can't help but wonder, right? Now, let's talk about Allison for a second. We all know that no marriage is perfect. Every couple has their issues, and Twitch and Allison were no different. 
But what we didn't see coming was that Allison would be the one to call the police when Twitch didn't come home that fateful night. That alone tells you that something was up. But again, it's hard to get into the nitty gritty because, well, they've got kids. And nobody wants to drag the kids into this. They've been through enough already. But still, those unanswered questions, they linger. A lot of people feel like we didn't get the full story. Why was there so little information from law enforcement after Twitch's passing? Why didn't the feds come out with more details to give the public some closure? Fans have been left hanging, and it's hard not to feel like something's missing. Like, how do you just close a case like that when someone as beloved as Twitch is involved? It doesn't sit right with a lot of people. Now, fast forward to the present day, and boom, Allison's found love again. And let me tell you, the reactions have been wild. Some people are all for it, saying, you go, girl. Everyone deserves to move on and be happy. And that's true. You can't stay stuck in grief forever. But at the same time, there are a lot of Twitch fans who feel like it's too soon. They're still mourning him, still searching for answers, and now they're seeing Allison living her best life with someone new. It's a lot to take in. It's like, on one hand, you totally get it. Allison's a human being. She deserves to be happy and to find love again especially after going through something so traumatic. But on the other hand, it feels like Twitch's story is still unfinished. There are still questions that need answers, and that makes it hard for some people to fully embrace this new chapter in Allison's life. The other thing that's got people talking is how Twitch's legacy is being handled. He was such a huge part of so many people's lives. Whether they watched him on So You Think You Can Dance, The Ellen Show, or just followed him for his dance videos on social media, he brought so much joy to people, and it feels like we didn't get the chance to properly say goodbye. Maybe that's why some fans are struggling with the idea of Allison moving on so soon. It's like, wait, we're still trying to make sense of everything, and now we're supposed to be happy that she's moved on? It's complicated for sure. But here's the thing, life does go on, even after heartbreak, even after loss. And maybe that's the hardest part to accept. Allison finding love again isn't about forgetting Twitch or erasing his memory. It's about her healing and finding a way to keep living even after something so devastating. And honestly, can you blame her for that? Of course, the internet has opinions. Because when doesn't it? Some people are straight up dragging her for moving on too quickly, while others are defending her right to find happiness. It's a whole thing. And while it's easy to get caught up in the drama of it all, we have to remember that none of us really knows what's going on behind closed doors. People grieve in different ways. And what looks too soon for one person might be exactly what another person needs to heal. But here's where it gets even juicier. With Allison starting a new relationship, some fans are wondering if this will finally push Twitch's family to break their silence. Will they speak out about the legal battles? Will we ever know what was in that note? Or will the whole thing just stay buried forever? As more time passes, it feels like the chances of getting real answers are slipping away. But you know what they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And right now, there's definitely some smoke surrounding Twitch's death and everything that's happened since. Fans aren't going to stop asking questions anytime soon, that's for sure. In the meantime, Allison is out here, living her life. And yeah, it might be controversial. People are going to have their opinions. But at the end of the day, the only ones who really know what happened are the people who are closest to Twitch. And maybe, just maybe, we have to respect that some things are meant to stay private. But what do you think? Should Allison have waited longer before finding love again? Or is it her right to move on whenever she feels ready? And will we ever get the answers we've been waiting for about Twitch's death? Let's just say, this story is far from over. And as more time passes, the mystery only deepens. One thing's for sure, Twitch's legacy lives on, even if there are still questions hanging in the air. His impact on the dance world, TV, and his fans will never be forgotten. And as for Allison, whether people love it or hate it, she's moving forward. Only time will tell how this chapter plays out, but one thing's certain, people will be watching closely. One step back, yep. Yeah. Two step back and then the and third. And then that's it? Uh-huh. And then, boom. Slide in. Nice. And then you lift the chair up to your chest. Boom. And then stand up. Stand up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that seemed easy enough. Yeah. Oh, those, uh, uh, no, no, no. Those were not even, no, no, no. No, no cheating. That is so far from the wall. <laughs> so far. Uh, help. All right, here we go. Well, here's the thing, y'all. Right. Are you really can't stand feel, up? No, I can't. 